Hi everybody, welcome back. My name is Lorna. I'm a psychotherapist and today I'm going to talk about ADHD, why it's so popular now and I'm going to focus today on ADHD or ADD in women, females, girls. If you're interested, hit subscribe. Here we go. Over lockdown, lots of TikTok videos um, started talking about um, the symptoms of and the traits of ADD and ADHD in females and girls. And the reality is that girls, women, people like me and you have been missed. So girls are missed. That was then. I was in school in the 70s. They were missed in the 80s, 90s, noughties and even now. So unless there is an extremely pushy mother banging the door down of the head mistress, the um, CAMS team, the psych ed at the school, they're not going to be picked up. Okay, so don't think it's any different now. And if I was at school now, it would be different. It's still hard. However, let's take accountability for this. So let's look at some of the main traits. People with ADHD, when they were at school and even now, would have been known as daydreamers. Their school reports would have been, could focus a bit more. They're quite quiet, rather than the stereotype of the little boy going around smashing windows, kicking off in the corner. That's the hyperactivity bit. For women, the hyperactivity bit tends to be, it may not be there, but it may also be internalised, maybe in the thinking. You're going to be forgetting things a lot and distracted. You've probably got a really good job. Um, however, you will have, and people don't know this, you will have notes on your phone, reminders, post-it notes, list, living in a state of anxiety of forgetting things. And you will also forget things. So you may be quite forgetful, quite distracted, quite impulsive. Also anxiety and maybe social anxiety. So your attention span may be quite short, hard to keep focus, and quite frankly, if you're not interested in something, you're staring out of the window. I mean, I struggle with that anyway. Um, if something's boring you, you're off. Um, also, with regard to mood, you're constantly after a bit of a dopamine hit, whether, whether that's chocolate, alcohol, candy crush, Instagram, something else on your phone. Yes, the phone is gonna be a big, big, problem for you now. You'll feel like you're addicted to your phone. You're going for that constant dopamine hit. A client of mine once explained it as she either felt like fizzy pop, pop is soda, um, so either fizzy pop, up, 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 energised, higher energy, heart rate, arms going up, up, up in the head, or flat pop, so really low. So there's a lot of peaks of mood that you're going to notice. There's no need to have a diagnosis if you don't want one. However, if you want one, it may be useful. And I say this with a lot of young people I work with. They want it for the workplace so that there can be adjustments made in their workplace to help them. So they're not stuck doing a full day's training or that meetings aren't too long. Or there's some flexibility in processes that the workplace can really help you with. It's also okay for you to self-refer as ADD or ADHD, absolutely fine. But if you do want an, a diagnosis, here's what, or to move towards it, here's what you need to do. I need you to write a list of traits um, that you feel represent you. I want you to watch some of these videos on YouTube called How To ADHD. I'll say it again, How To ADHD. This is a female making these videos. She's absolutely brilliant watch some of those videos. If you're watching this video, you will probably already think you have ADD or ADHD. Watch some of these videos. Take a list of symptoms to your GP. There are three types of ADHD. Number one is hyperactive. That's the running round externally. Number two is inattentive or known as ADD. Number three is combined. Most, which is a combination of one and two. Most females are diagnosed with the inattentive, however, can also be diagnosed with hyperactive. I'm gonna read you what NICE, which is the National Institute for Health and, and Care, what they say in their guidelines for ADHD. ADHD is thought to be under-recognized in girls and women, and that 
they are less likely to be referred for assessment for ADHD. So I need you to push and say that to your doctor that females have been missed and less likely. They are more likely to have undiagnosed ADHD. Mm -hmm. They may be more likely to receive an incorrect diagnosis of another mental health or neurodevelopmental condition. Oh, interesting. I'll read that again. They may be more likely to receive an incorrect diagnosis of another mental health or neurodevelopmental condition. So that's from NICE in 2018. Think about people thinking they've got, um, that they're having burnout. Often with ADHD, there's a burnout that happens. Yes, yeah, so you have maybe it, maybe it's not bipolar, anxiety and depression. Let's get curious about this. I need you to go and research your traits. And again, to recap, go to the doctors with a list of your traits. Say to them you want to be referred using the right to choose scheme and be referred to Psychiatry UK. I will put the link below for Psychiatry UK. So it's the right to choose scheme with Psychiatry UK. Yes, the waiting list is was long and now it's really long compared because of the, the volume uh, with NHS, but at least you're gonna be in the pipeline. If you want it quicker, you can go private, but there's something with just familiar, familiarizing yourself with this. I ask people, what, what has the diagnosis helped you with? And they say, well, I understand myself a bit more. I look back and I'm not weird and I wasn't weird and that this was something that's wrong with me. And also you're able, you'll be able to put coping strategies in place. You've probably already got some amazing coping strategies, to be honest. Do share them with other people or tell me them. Um, yeah, so it's really that not feeling weird also in the workplace, that you're gonna get support in the workplace. Um, yeah, I really need to encourage you, do your research, go for it and push, push, push because women and girls have and still are under, um, not diagnosed and missed. So keep pushing. Also, I work in the video games and creative industry and it is now huge that people are sort of coming out. It used to be mental health people coming out with, with ADHD, ADD or being on the autistic spectrum. 